Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a fun looking puzzle in front of us. This one is called Primrose 4 by Will Power. I'm assuming there was a Primrose 1, 2, and 3. And uh, depending on how this thing goes, which I'm sure it's going to be fun, I might go back and take a look at those, see if there, uh, if there are other versions of this one. Uh, but anywho, let's jump into the rules, see what's going on, see if we can figure this puzzle out. So it's normal Sudoku. So every row, column, and 3x3 three three box will contain the digits 1 through 9 once each. We've got killer cages and crop key pairs. Well, it says crop key pairs plus, so we'll have to figure that out. But killer cages, numbers and cages, sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Numbers do not repeat in cages. Normal killer cage. So these guys will add to 10, these to 11, these to 27, etc., etc., without repeats. Um, we also have some blue lines in there, but I'm not sure what those are doing. Uh, let's read the crop key pairs. If you don't know what's going on, read the rules, right? Crop key, pe crop key pairs plus numbers with a white dot between them are consecutive. So that's normal crop key. So these two will be consecutive. All possible white dots between numbers on the same blue line are shown. Okay. Imagine that. It gets explained. So I think what that means is that on this 13, these two are consecutive, but these two cannot be because this is a blue line. These do not have a crop key pair in between them, so therefore they have the negative constraint. It says all possible white dots on the same blue lines are shown. Now, I would have to guess that it means, it, or it, it doesn't mean that these two can't be consecutive because they're not on the same line. One of them's off the line. So it would make sense that these two could be consecutive, but these two couldn't be. But we'll figure that out when we get into the puzzle. So anyway, uh, with that said, let's not uh, lag about here. Let's just jump into this thing. Link's in the description below. Let's get at it. Let's have some fun. Okay, so I did notice a couple little things here. Like this 10 is 1, 2, 3, 4. This 30 is 9, 8, 7, 6. This 10 is 1, 2, 3, 4. This 30 is six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, this is just a five then, so we're gonna put that in. Now we can probably start, yeah, we can do some reductions on a couple of these guys, since we put the um, the bases in there. This is going to either be nine, eight, seven, six, or nine, eight, seven, six this way. So these two here can't be the middle digits of eight and seven. Therefore, these are the middle digits, if I can get my typing to work. So it's going to be some grouping like that. Now that seven, eight pair says these can't be sevens or eights, which means these can't be six or nine. And well, in this, in these two groupings, cause they are apart from each other, one of them will be six, seven, the other one will be eight, nine. Cause obviously you can't have uh, there being like a seven, eight pair or something like that. But because of this here, that actually already just flushed itself out. So we don't really need to know about that. Um, can we say anything else about these other guys? Well, we can't yet, but there's going to be a negative constraint on this 10 clue. Because again, we're, it doesn't have a white crop key on it, so it can't have a 1, 2 next to each other. can't have a 2, 3 next to it. can't have 3, 4 kind of a situation going on. So, okay. Well, with that, and I don't necessarily see anything else that's that obvious let's maybe look into the 27s because they are at least reduced and i think what it means is that we have to have i think a nine and an eight is that true now obviously we can't no it's probably not true actually we can't have eight seven six five because eight seven six five would only be 26 so there must be a nine on them somewhere both of them. Eh, I don't know if I want to do that because again, we're going across region. Um, but let's let's maybe think about this twenty-seven a little bit more in depth because it has three digits that are consecutive with each other. Now, can we determine what those are? If we did, yeah, I don't think we can have. A can we? Yeah, we can't have 876 be the consecutive digits, right? 
because 8, 7, 6 is 21. So we'd have to put another 6 in here. So this grouping of three digits have to be 9, 8, 7. There's no other way to do it. You can't do 7, 6, 5, right? Because you're only at 18. No, maybe you could. This could be 7, 6, 5, actually. Yeah, that would make sense because it's either 9, 8, 7, 5, or... Yeah, okay. So essentially what we're saying is these are 9, 8, 7, and 5. Uh, no, there was a 6 in there. Hold on. Okay, well that's not as useful as I thought it would be. But we know this can't be 9 or 5 because it's in an interior of this thing. Um, six. Yeah, that is, okay. I thought we'd get a little bit more on that one for some reason, but it doesn't look like we, well, actually this, okay, here's a curious thing. This cell here is seen by both a seven and an eight, because these will be two different digits. So this is not seven or eight. Now, does that tell us anything of real use? don't know that it necessarily does. We can also say that this uh, 27 clue is going to also be from the 98765. So let's just make sure, yeah, because 98, you can't put a 4 on it, so 5 is the bare minimum. This one here will also see a 69, so it can't be either one of those. Eh. Oh, let's look here. I didn't even notice. Look at this column. We have a 6, 9, 7, 8, and 5. These can't be 6, 9. Okay, what have I done wrong? Let's, hold on. I'm, my brain's not functioning here for a second. What are these? Let's look here. 1, 2, 3, 4... And that's the only options. How did I get myself to the point where I was saying this couldn't be a low digit? Hold on then. What's the maximum? 987. That's 24. It could go down to a 3. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, essentially, though, it means that these are a 3, 4, and these will be a 1, 2 pair. Now let's refocus, stop thinking wrong things. I think this now is set, <clears throat> if we think about it from this perspective. Because if this was 876 now, it would have to have a 9 with it. Or was it not the, not the 9, the 6 with it, which we said we can't work. The 765 would have to be with the 9, but obviously that can't work either. So this does now have to be 987. And if it's 987, this is the 8. So these two are not. Now, if this is 987, that is 24. These are 3. Where's my keypad here? That's a 3. So this then is a 4. Okay. Now we can go into some of these. This is 7... This has to be 6, we said, so this is 9 and 8. That's going to force 7. Now, if that's a 7, this has to be 6, 8, 9. Good. Okay, so this is then 9, this is 7. Okay. We had a brain fart, a pretty big one there for a second, but we worked it out. What else can we then say? And we can make some minor reductions to some of these. I don't know if they helps us yet. Let's think about this 27. Because now we, okay, that is very useful. This 27 has a 4 on it. So we need 23 more in three different digits. It has to be 986. It's the only way that works. And these can't be 9s. So this is, and this just is 8 and 6. Okay. Now, do we want to jump into a Sudoku look? Because we know this isn't 3, this isn't 4. I don't know that we have enough digits to go down that Sudoku road. At least not just yet. Um, 
debating if this is actually going to get us anywhere. I mean, I can put in some pencil marks. We can't put an okay. We can't put a nine in a thirteen clue. There we go. So the nines are helpful. So I'm glad I did look at this now. None of these can be nines. This is nine, which means this is eight. We actually also have, I didn't even see that here. We have this as a one, two, three, four, five, and now a nine. So these are six, sevens, and eights. This is just six. Stop making things difficult. So that is a seven, eight pair. We don't know exactly where it goes, but maybe we can remove. Yeah, this can't, yeah, this can't be an eight. Because if it was, we'd have five left over in three cells. You can't do this. This is seven. This is eight. This is three. Now there's six left over, so these have to be from one, two, and three. Come on. This is not the three, so there is a three on this, so it is a three, two, which means this is the one. Now these are, oh, wrong keypad. These are not ones. This is not two. Good. What else does that? This is not three. So one of these has a three on it. Okay. Therefore, there can't be a one, which means this is the one. Get rid of that guy. One of these will be the one. So these two aren't. All right. Now, can we negative? We can negative constraint this thing. Because there's no crop key between these two. This can't ever be the three because it would be consecutive with two or four. So this is three. Therefore, this isn't. That is a two, four pair, which means this is three and this is going to be one. Therefore, this is not one. It's not three and it's not two because of the negative. So it's four and you are two. Good. Now that forces two and four. Alrighty. We're on this now. This has to be one, this has to be two, and now we can most, oh wait, we can finish with the negative constraint here. This will become the three and the two because we can't have these be consecutive. Now, do we wanna jump straight into Sudoku or actually let's look here first. We might as well finish the clues that we have, right? We have six already, it's a 13 cell clue. It has to be one, two, four. These are not twos, so this is, that force is one, four. Good. Now let's look here real quick on these three, because they are going to be one, five, and six. These two are not sixes, so this is the six. This has to be a five, because it can't be a seven anymore. And... Now we should just be into Sudoku territory, so let's jump into it. This is two. This is five. This is a given four. Good. What about these three? Well, three is the key. One of those is three. It's not these two, so it's you. The other two are seven and nine. Therefore, we can do that. Seven, nine. Good. All right, now let's jump into some of these other guys. We need one, three, and seven. This is one. The, oh, this is seven, this is three. Cool. What else, let's maybe this guy. We're kind of getting into some longer strings here, so they're not the greatest, but maybe something will pop its head out. Four, five, six, seven. No seven, no, one of these two is the seven. Let's just put those in and then remove options. This is not seven. This is not six or seven or four, it's five. Then we can get rid of the fives. We said this is not six or four, so it is seven, which means this is not a seven. So we get a four, six pair. We don't quite have those resolved, so let's move on to the next bit of information. Let's go up here, actually. We need to put a three, so it goes here. We need a five and an eight, so we can put those here. Now, this is a given nine, it looks like. 
These are four and six. Can't quite determine which one of those is which just yet. Now let's jump into just base Sudoku because I think we are way beyond what we need to do that. This is a one. Boom, boom. One of those two is a one to finish the X-Wing. So that's not going to get us where we want to go. This is a two. And I think we have an X-Wing on twos. Yep, let's go to threes then. The threes are done. Good. What about the fours? One of those two, one of these two, one of those, one of these two. So nothing left there. Let's go to fives for a second. Mm, no. We'll go through these and then once or if we don't find anything else, we'll move on to some of the other things we can do. Okay, this is a seven. That's something. This is a seven. I think that's all of our sevens. It is. Let's look at the eights and nines then, because those are going to work out. This is the last eight, and then we should be able to plop the nines in, right? Yeah, this is a nine, and this is a nine. So now we can just finalize these last couple of bits. These have to be four and two. Two, not eight. This is just a given five. That gives us one and five. These two here have to be two and six. That's going to give us the four, six. These two have to be four and five. Not quite determined. This is just a given, though, so maybe this one will get us going. Yes, this is the six, therefore four, six, uh, four, five, and then we can finish these. This is five, this is one. There we go. Solve the puzzle with the slight hitch in the middle <laughs> where I just could not figure out how to add properly in the 27 cage. So anyway, um, very fun puzzle. I really did enjoy that. I do like the the grouping of how these are working together where the the blue line, when you first look at the puzzle, you think, oh, it's going to be like a region sum or something, but it's not. It's just a, a determination of the killer cages. Uh, I don't really know why this guy's here, but uh, of the killer cages and how there is the negative constraint on the crop keys because we can't have any of the cages have consecutive digits where there isn't a crop key. So very nice. Really do, really did enjoy that combination of rules there. So I uh, hope you all did as well. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. You can also join. You can donate. We might have some merch coming sometime soon, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, again, hope you all enjoyed that one. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.